Hey everyone, it's Blue Cat Arrow here, and I'm gonna do something new for once. Today, I'm going to basically show off like a couple of weapons, maybe not all of them, because I'm not so much of a weapons collector. So I don't collect weapons in this game, I just collect one of the better ones. Well, the ones that I feel will be good. I'm considering about buying the M1 Guard. I can't even pronounce the name of the N1, but the rifle inside the ammo shop. The one that cost $7,000, the one that could shoot the doors, yeah, that one. I can never say that name. Anyways, I'm going to show just a general description of a couple of guns. I'm only going to do two today. So, first off, let's start off with the most common and most basic guns in players who, well, like to do all these activities that I'm about to list. So, the M4. It, as of now, it currently costs 55000 The M4 is kind of weird because it used to be free. Because you used to get it from the crabs in the very early on in the game. And then it was sold in the, the shop with the Famous for 4500 And then the, it got raised again to 45000 and now it's fifty-five thousand. So I managed to get it when it when it, it only cost four thousand five hundred. So I got really lucky. And this guy probably wants me to the tag. No. <laughs> and I'm right in the middle of the video. <laughs> okay, whatever. So, um, what was I at? It deals eight damage. Maximum damage is nine. Lowest damage is six. Clip size is sixteen. Has a good freeze rate. I'm about to show you right now. I was hoping for no distractions, but I cast. I just put the tag on. It, it, it's going to be kind of annoying to constantly hear that beep sound. I'm assuming that he left as well. Yeah, something happened between SK and... Uh, things went pretty hectic. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so... 9 damage, maximum, 8 damage, good, 6 damage minimum, clip size is 16, good freeze rate, good s uh, reload time. It only shoots one bullet, it costs 55,000 out of now, and has attachment for 45,000. What the attachment does is basically it just shoots one more than one bullet. So instead of shooting one bullet, it's going to shoot two bullets, or three bullets. And I don't really see a lot of people use it, but I want to get used to it. I want to buy it and see why people don't. I get the feeling like I'm gonna use it, and then I get the feeling like I'm gonna do good with it. A lot of people left. Just, just to inform you guys. Anyways, this gun is an all-around gun. An Every, you can do a lot of things with it. You can PK with it. You can spar with it. You can um, streak with it if you want. You can base with it. It's all around. You can do whatever the heck you like with it. It's a very good gun, and I highly recommend it for those players who are really getting interested in the game. Uh, would I recommend this gun at the, to be the earliest? Maybe not. Maybe perhaps like the P90 would be a good gun for beginners. Or maybe just the M16. I see a lot of people with that. And if you're looking for a shotgun, then I recommend the M3. Because, you know, 20 damage. Come on now. So enough about the M4 and on to the AP7. Right, it didn't... Nope. For some reason, it doesn't say display a sound. I don't know why. So, this has a very good freeze rate. It's almost slim to none. The clip size is pretty lacking, though, with only six bullets per clip. Yeah, this is an okay reload speed. One second, just like the M4, nine damage maximum, eight damage normal, and six damage is the minimum. As of now, it costs 5,500 Grelots to purchase. You can buy two, but then again, you basically have to buy another one for the same price, of course. Now with two, the fire rate is greatly increased 
phase rate remains almost the same. But the fire rate, the point is fire rate increases and the fire increases the wheel speed, I think it increases just a little bit. And finally, it is a PK weapon. I would recommend it for PK. Maybe if you're really good at the game, you could probably use it for basing. I've seen some people in other gangs use it for basing. A streaking gun, perhaps because of the fire rate. But a spar gun, maybe one would be better. One for spar. And it has perfect accuracy, so that might be a little bit of a flaw. The M4 has, um, it's very inaccurate, so that's actually a good thing. It's kind of weird, because when you really do think about it, in more other games, accuracy is considered a good thing, but in this game, because it's all about dodging bullets most of the time, and not keeping still for too long, inaccuracy is actually kind of a bad thing. Well, accuracy is a bad thing. Inaccuracy is a good thing. So, I really don't want to click this message, because I'm already, I already uh, showed enough bad stuff. Uh, I really don't want to click it. So, I think that's all I have to discuss about. Let's see, tomorrow? Well, maybe not tomorrow. <laughs> Perhaps I might do the handguns and the ship gun another time. So, hold up a second, I'm just going to write that down. Handguns, ship gun. That way I don't just switch it up in the last second. <laughs> okay. So, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like the idea, kind of put in your, in your input into it, please, <laughs> it kind of helps that way, if I can, you know, continue it or not, be very, tell me, you know, be more informative, show more examples, maybe if you want, I could probably go to a base and probably use it for a little while, because a lot of the guns here that I'm about to show are pretty much rusty. All the guns that you see here are not rusty, so only four four out of how, however many guns that I have are not rusty. They're all in perfect condition, except for those four. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for watching. See you guys another time.